Okay, so in the previous section we discussed population and parameters and sample and statistics. And in this is data, right? And so with the data, there's different types of data we can collect, right? So we have two types, categorical and quantitative. Now, categorical is also known as qualitative for quality, but I like categorical. I've always kind of favored categorical, but just so you know, through this, these next few chapters, qualitative is also a synonym for categorical, and essentially it just means a quality or an attribute. So categorical data are pieces of information from your subjects that go into um, various categories and essentially we really can't um, uh, apply arithmetic operations so I wouldn't be able to add and subtract hair colors let's say and then get a new hair color average hair color whereas quantitative data the responses are a number or a measurement and we can find meaningful re statistical results by doing arithmetic operations so for example um, like height, right? So height, we could put in 67 inches is five feet, seven inches, right? So 67 inches is the average, right? We can add up at heights and find the average. So quantitative just means that our, ant our responses from the subjects in our sample is numbers and we can apply our arithmetic operations. And with categorical, they're categories, so you really can't do it much with it except assess the categories. So here, um, qual quantitative means that it's numer the answers are numerical and then arithmetic operations can be applied. So for example, gender. So gender, can you add a bunch of genders up and divide and find an average gender? No, right? So this is automatically a category. So this is categorical data. If the answer isn't a number, then it's usually categorical. Like temperature, for example. Could I find the average temperature during summer in Orange County? Yes, right? So this would be quantitative because the temperature is a number and I can find an average temperature if I wanted to. Quantitative. And you can see the root word in there is quantity. Okay, the number of times a college student works out in a seven day week. So the number of times itself, the word number itself tells you that this could be quantitative. And then I would ask, well, can I find the average number of times a college student works out? Yeah, okay, so it's a number and I, and I can get meaningful results from those numbers. Then I would say quantitative. What about a zip code? And some of you are like, well, zip code is a number. Yes, so that's a number. But then you ask yourself, well, could I find the average zip code? Could I add a, bu a bunch of zip codes and get an average zip code? No, so this is, the, this is my ace in the hole. This is the kicker, where the answer is obviously numerical, but it gives no meaningful results when I apply arithmetic operations. So just be careful. This is one of the one of the cases where the answer is a number, like which zip code do you live in? You would actually give a numerical value, right? 92869. But if I added a bunch of zip codes together and found the average zip code, it would have no meaning whatsoever, right? So the zip code is categorical. So you always want to you always want to make sure that even though the answer is a number, but also you can get meaningful results. How about hair color? Can I add a bunch of hair colors up and get an average hair color? No, right? The answer is a word, it's not a number, and so it's categorical. Height in inches. And um, so we just reviewed this, right? So we can always find an average height. And so the answer is a number and it's, results can give meaningful um, information, right? So this is quantitative.
So I'm going to just write here, the first question you want to ask, if it's categorical or quantitative, say, is the answer a number? Right. So then you say, well, yes. Then say, can I find the average? And if the answer is no, then we know it's categorical. Okay, so it so that's the first level, right? Let me kind of write this here. Okay, so is the answer a number? If it, the answer is yes, then ask, can I find the average? And if this is yes, then it's quantitative. And if this answer is no, like the zip code, right, then we know it's categorical. So there's some thinking process when it comes to the numerical answers. So you would ask yourself, is the answer a number? If the answer is no, it's like hair color, then it's automatically categorical. But if you say, yes, the answer is a number, then you ask yourself, can I find the average? Can I find the average zip code? No. Well, if you can't, if it has no meaning, then it's categorical. If you say, yes, I can find the average temperature, the average height, then you know it's quantitative. But hopefully this little tiny flow chart helps a little.